Hey everybody, it's Post Games here. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 with the Kingdom of Sardinia and Corsica. We last left off, we once again had to go bail out one of our allies in Serbia because of their civil war, which good they won, which is perfect. However, I am still try attempting to kill this man, but he also has great pox and is a lunatic, so, so it's kind of on my side. Uh, things are are going in my favor to have this man die uh, and then have my my nephew which is of my family come he very much does not like me as I tried to kill his dad uh, I don't really blame him people typically aren't big fans of you trying to kill your their parents uh, most people so, yeah, I, I do I do see where he's coming from. But he's like five. He freaking does he really understand? Does he really understand what I was doing? Like, eh, I tried to poison his dad. I probably killed some poor, uh, poor guy that like had the had the poison test the wine, uh, which sucks. But uh, I guess that's just the line of work we're in. I'm just kind of zooming around the map, seeing what the what the map looks like. Uh, Scandinavia is in absolute shambles, just absolute chaos. But they're they're a Catholic chaos, mostly Catholic chaos. So we're we're kind of still with that. Okay, we're still kind of we're kind of pro pro Scandinavia now. Uh, Germany's still a thing, doing its it hasn't really done too much. If I'm going to be honest. France hasn't done much. Uh, the Umeads are kind of just doing their own destruction with all their civil warring, which is perfectly fine with me. Because uh, they've lost some of their own territory. Ramadan's a thing. Um, not just not just the uh, not just the holiday, but like an actual. Oh, he is a caliph. He is a caliph of Ramadan. Why is... Is there multiple caliphs? I don't think that that's how this works. I don't... I don't think you're really allowed to have more than one caliph. Especially three. Okay, I thought there was only supposed to be two. Like one Shia and one Sunni. Uh, this is... This doesn't seem right here. Why do we have multiple caliphs going on? Is there three... Oh, okay. He's Shia. So Ramadan is a Shia caliphate. And then for some reason we have two Sunni caliphs. Which I, I think is, is not really uh, what's supposed to happen. But uh, we're just going to let, let the, the Muslims kind of do their own thing. If they want to have multiple caliphs, all the power to them. But Florence apparently has converted itself. Beautiful times. Okay, it is converted. No longer have to worry about that. Oh, they were, they, I think they were Catholic. And I think Siena just also converted. So we only have one Catholic territory. We have four... Orthodox, which I guess I'd rather have Orthodox, because they are just the other, the other uh, what we're what we're we are a heresy of. So Bologna, Bologna, whatever we're gonna call them, only has one point seven uh, million. Wow, there's another Serbian revolt. Another one. Okay, you can you can handle that on your damn own. And these, I'm assuming, are religious. They're both religious rebels, I think. So I think we can kind of just leave them. To just sit there and do nothing. Because they're not accomplishing anything. They're definitely not accomplishing anything. Um, maybe when we go to war with uh, this territory here. Uh, he'll just run straight into Florence here and die. Which would be alright. 
because then we could just siege up his territory, sit on it for three years because there won't be any major battles, and they're boom ba doop ba doop boom we take it over. Oh, yeah, Serbia, you got... Well, I don't know why you in, even invited me. You got that war down pat. You just wanted me to come along for the ride. A book without a title was pushed into my hands by a hooded man clad in midnight blue. Something was said but was lost in the confusion. The book is still there. Read that stuff. Read it. Become educated. The secret within the book still eludes me after several weeks of intense study. He must be a maniac. Complete. I love that word. Malarkey. Filling precious parchment with malarkey and incomprehensible symbols. Love that. That is a great, great word. And we have lost our alliance with this man who is... T oh, wow. Woo! That's uh, a little bit of debt. A little... Wait, did one of my... What happened here? Serbia, I think it's you. You were the, you were the... No, you're the Croatian. Arliss. Okay. Why did I lose my alliance with you? It says we don't have any marriage ties, except I can just go like this. Boom. Boom. I don't... I don't... Is that a glitch? Did the game just kind of bleh there for a second? Because I still... Nobody died. Uh, maybe the, maybe his character was supposed to die, and it just didn't. But wow, is that man got a large amount of debt. <sighs> wow. Ugh. Nothing like allies that have all, all the troubles in the world. Nothing quite like it. Alright, you're 27, your wife's 23. I still, I'd still i still like more kids while you're still young. That would be alright. But yeah, you can... You, I, think, I think Serbia can manage on his own. I think. We're just trying to load up money so we can go siege one single county. But I guess having the thing about having an incredibly expensive army is that it's also a really good army. Like it's it's a it's quite a good army. So that's at least it. Gonna sit here and stare. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The hell did you come from, Ragusa? War against the tyranny of the king of Serbia. So what does that what does that mean? Cuz now he's on track to lose cuz Ragusa just pulled his pulled 30 3200 uh mercenaries out of his ass. Which is a large amount of mercenaries. That's that's two It's two whole mercenary bands. I don't know. I don't know how he's still making money. Like, no clue how this man's making money, hiring that many guys. And I just, I just raise my own normal army, and I'm just like, pfft, debt. Infinite amounts of debt.
My patriarch was attacked in Corsica. So, uh, kill half the population of Corsica? Sounds like a good solution to me. Alright, do we take the shot? Do we, do we, do, do we attack these guys? Screw it, I think, I think we have enough money. I, I, I do believe we have enough money to do the job. And this time I'm actually going to remember to... Oh, yeah, we can we can pay some of these guys. I know, I know I'm literally talking about how I don't have money to be spending, but we do have more people to support so then I can not fail killing that guy. Since apparently uh, even the plague won't kill him. Man's apparently impossible to murder at 44 years old. I wish I could, like, hey, why, why even plot at this point? Just, just, just walk in and walk into his castle and shoot him in the head. I think that's a great solution. Like, if they, if they already know that I'm trying to kill him, why does it really matter? They already know I want him dead, so just, just let me walk in, I'll, I'll stab him, I'll walk out. Solution. The, my co-conspirator Mayor Boslav has procured a venomous viper and sent word that it will soon dig its fangs into that king. Just don't point that thing at me. Prove the plan. It'd be kind of interesting if that if that backup plan if that plan actually had like a an option of backfiring or like somebody gets killed because it handles he evades the snake how 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 do I have a hundred and fifty six percent plot power and the bastard doesn't die He has smallpox. He's like every single facet he should be dead. In every single way this man should be long gone. Dig his grave. Send him home. Like, send him up to heaven. God, I hope you're ready for him. This man should be dead. Is this another Italian revolt? Is there another? Oh, there's another one. Okay, yeah, keep 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 Italy weak. I am I am all fine with that. Like he's only got a nine thousand army, which uh, I can't really say much. We're not too much bigger than him, and our allies are all absolutely incompetent. Especially like uh, this guy who's still losing money. He's not at war. But he's losing money. I don't know what he's doing. Like, what? How are you losing money right now? Like, I know he's a lunatic, but like, frick. It is good tradition to have some gossip. Yes, send in the maids. And of course, Serbia is useless because Serbia is constantly stabbing itself in the face. So, yeah. I have great allies. I just have to do everything by myself. But yeah, this is a nice easy war. One battle. So my wife wants to be spy master. She would be great, but I don't want her to die. Uh, also, I can convert her, which is great. Um, I'm, which is good because now I can just, uh, I can just make her mad, but she's already convinced, she's already decided to, oh no, this, she might say no now, <gasps> oh, she's still dead, great, okay, my wife, my wife has converted, I, I'm now in debt, uh, please siege faster. 
And we popped out another daughter. What is with this family? Like, I wish there was a... I wish you could tell how many women compared to men. Because, man, do we... Does my direct line seem to call, seem to have a lot of women? I guess other than this guy here. But there, there's, there's a lot of women in this family. And this just shows that. There we go. Offer peace. Boom. Okay. Put that army down so we stop... Stop our endless debt. And now we gotta figure out who we're giving this to. We'll let one day pass. Let's go to here. Let's go find our family. Our extended family here. Uh... My uncle? Could we, should, should we put our uncle down? Uh, what's he got for kids? He's got a 26-year-old unmarried son. Uh, I'm going to change that. Of course, nobody wants to marry him. Search all. I need women... Uh, I really, re like, to be honest, I, I don't really care. My religion, uh, hopefully. Can I, can I, can I guarantee that they're not related to me? Oh, we have a 12-year-old that's not related to me. Uh, it's about, about, oh, we got a 23. We have a 23-year-old. Uh, arrange marriage between her and my cousin, uh, let's go. Boom. He's 26. He's got himself a wife. Which means now I can go over to my uncle. And I can grant him. Uh, I can grant him uh, baloney here. Grant landed title. There we go. Perfect. Get that out of there. We've expanded. Now our beautiful borders are kind of screwed up. But we, we have expanded into Ferrara. Well, I'm going to leave things off here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. Drop a comment, whatever you want to say. If you want to do yourself a favor and me a favor, take that little red subscribe button down below and turn it into a gray subscribe button. And lastly, if you want to join my Discord, it's in my YouTube About section. Three clicks and you can join. And you guys have a really good rest of your day.